Hi and welcome to another episode of Reaper TV. In this week's audio based video we're going to take a look at using Adobe Audition to create custom length tracks. Now if you've got a piece of audio that you want to be a specific length for a video or for a documentary or for something along those lines, it can be a little bit annoying trying to trim things down, cut things up, try to find the beat and to get exactly where you want. Same kind of goes in return if you want to do it on a shorter sort of section, so you want to cut part of a song up. Well, stick around through this video because I'm going to show you how you can do that inside Adobe Audition quickly, easily, and with no editing whatsoever. So before I start this, I've got to give props to Peter McKinnon and his YouTube channel who sort of demonstrated this in a two minute video today. And I thought the technique was fantastic. Now, even though we're not using Reaper, I still think it's worth taking a look because a lot of people have Adobe Audition as part of the Adobe CC Cloud package. And it's worth checking out how you can do this. So let's take a look at how we can create it. What we're going to do first thing is we're going to come to file and we're going to say new and we're going to create a multi-track session and this is important it has to be a multi-track session to work. So we're going to click on that we're going to name this one sample time and we'll click OK. That now creates our multi-track session so all we need to do is drag and drop our audio file in so I'm going to drag that in to my timeline and then we're going to simply drag that over onto my area. So it doesn't matter that I've got this sample rate inserted incorrectly, I'll just click OK to that and it'll do everything else I need. So now that's going to go through, process the track and put everything in place. So that's part one. Next thing we need to do now is go through and enable the remixing option. So with the track selected, we need to come over to the properties section. So if you see media browser or effects rack or anything, just switch over to the properties tab, scroll down until you find remix, expand that out and you're going to see you have an option that says enable remix. I'm going to click on that. That's going to go through and analyze the track. This will take however long the sort of takes based upon the speed of your computer and the length and the complexity of the track. But once that's finished, processing and analyzing everything, we're pretty much good to go. So now we've done that, it analyzed the tracks, done everything we need. If we take a look at the remix tab, you can see now it's shown the target duration. What we need to do is simply put in how long we want this track to be. So let's just say, for example, I want this two and a half minute track to be one minute. I simply adjust the time on there, hit enter or click outside the time target duration. And you can see that our track is analyzed within a second or so. And we can now see that our track has been shrunk down to just over one minute long. If we zoom in a little bit, we can see exactly what's going on. We can see the cut positions. So you can see the little squiggly lines denote exactly where the audio has been edited to make this track exactly one minute long. So let's have a listen to how clean these edits are. Go to play head over. Let's just hit play and take a listen. Absolutely perfect. You wouldn't tell that's been edited. So let's just undo that. And let's do the opposite. So at the moment now we've got a track that's two and a half minutes long. Let's just expand that out a little so we can see the entire track. And now let's just say we want this to be 10 minutes long. That will now go through and analyze and you can see it does exactly the same thing. But now we have a track that goes on for 10 minutes. Again, we've got perfect cuts in there. Let's just hit play again and take a listen to that. So absolutely perfect. We don't need to do anything other than just specify the time we want and we've got a perfectly aligned, perfectly set up cut and mixed track ready to start working with. We can simply just output that now and start working inside whatever application we want to use that audio for. That's all there is to it. So like I say, I thought it was a pretty cool way of being able to edit your audio quickly, easily and painlessly to specify exactly how you want it to be to fit with any piece of video or any piece of audio you may want to use. Well, I hope you found the video useful. If you did, please hit that like button and smash the subscribe button to be kept up to date with all the new content that's added. If you need comments, questions, or feedback on this video, pop those in the comments section below. And if you'd like to see more Adobe Audition based videos, again, pop that in the comment section below. I'll take a look at creating more videos in the future. Well, until next time, happy mixing.